Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more World of Warcraft Dragonflight and our Troll Warlock. Hope everyone is doing well today, thank you so much for clicking on the video and spending a few moments of your day with me. Uh, we are still over in Durotar, we're going to continue questing here today and working on the, uh, the quests, uh, basically lower level quests here in the zone. Uh, we have to go down here and help uh, Ragaran, uh, we need to come up here and do Scent for Help, Winds of the Desert, and then Loss Reduction. I think I'll run over here and let's find out what Loss Reduction is. And I want to change this cursor trail because it just keeps annoying me. Um, let's see if we can find something else that looks kind of... Um, this one's not bad for a Warlock. Maybe I'll stick with that. That Plague Cloud just kind of lingers and I don't really care for that. What is this quest and where is it? Oh, right here. Oh, rescue four injure razor hill grunts, okay. Loss reduction. You've got to help us. The elementals are stronger than they look, and they've come in waves. They took us completely by surprise and we were overcome. Many of my fellow grunts lay dying on the beach. If you could save them, it would be grateful. I would be grateful. It would be a as would Garthok back at Razor Hill. You guys follow me if I'm mounted? Yep. Didn't I just help this one up? Huh. Guess not. Okay. Alright, water elemental. Why is my pet... There you go. I say my pet should be on defensive. Sir, one of the best things about Cataclysm is they had a flight pass everywhere, so you don't have to run every single place, which is really, really nice. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we'll go over here and finish the, these other two, Ragaran and Zentali, Zentaji, Zentaji.
I wouldn't mind running some of the older dungeons. I mean, you guys tell me, do you think we should run some dungeons on this character uh, and see some of the older content, older dungeons? Or should we just do questing and, and see all the quests? I don't mind either way because I'm enjoying leveling. And it's been, it's been a while since I've done a lot of these zones. And you know, I didn't level Horde very much. Well, I guess I did level through these zones. Uh, it's just been a long time since I've seen this content. Even farther back, the mists. Or wad, for that matter. I'm enjoying playing through Draenor again on my uh, Druid. Hulteran Druid. Ragoran's Rage. The Quill Boar are staying on the land that not even the river can wash away. They told me to evacuate, but I told them my job is yet, was yet done. Was not yet done. Arg, I hate Quill Boar so much. Will you help me kill them? Alright, so we need four Quill Boar and four Scouts. That's easy. Amazing. One Incinerate and one... Uh, so it's conflagrate, and they're dead. Or life drain. I wish there was a, um, I really wish there was a, a glyph to increase the size of your pet because he's tiny. Like, look how tall I am compared to how small he is. Like the imp should be that small, but I feel like the, um, void walker should be bigger and the other ones should be bigger as well. It's very strange. But there's an earth root up here. Oh, nope, it's a silver leaf. Oh, there is an earth root, too. Geolord model. Model. Nice. Oh, we got soul stone. Not that we need it right now. And... We'll pick one up over here once we're out of combat. Got another bag. Wow, got <laughs> another two more bags. Not that I need them. Something you doing? I will not rest until they're defeated. Slay them all. Ragaran catches his breath. The stinking layers are to the north or south to the southwest. Alright, let's see what we get. Um Curse of Enfeeblement forces the target to speak in demonic, increasing casting time. Reduces the target's movement speed by 12 seconds. Um, grants access to the following abilities. Okay. Using demonic circle teleporter, demonic gateway, reduce all damage you take by 4% for 10 seconds. Your next imp, void walker, incubus, spell bugger, has reduced casting time. When soul leads of George damage, 5% of the damage absorbed is spread out over 5 seconds. Reduces damage taken by 1.5%. Hey, we get Mortal Coil back. That's interesting. Reduces damage dealt by Burning Rush by 25%. Burning Rush increases movement speed by 50%. By 5%, excuse me. Hmm. Mortal, uh, burning Rush is nice in a, um, in a dungeon, so you can run around faster, but... I think I'll do fell armor. We're not really indoors that much. Well, I guess we are. In and out of caves. Well, it's occasionally. It's not all the time.
So used to classic where you have to loot everything. Yeah, Drain Life does a lot of damage, so we're using that quite a bit. All my attacks do just insane amounts of damage. I know they try to speed leveling up, and they that's why they you know they, they allow you to do more damage, but I don't know, sometimes it just feels it just feels way too overpowered. It's not even fun, really. Destroy everything. Let's see, we did get soul stone, not that I need it. Did we get anything else? Nope. Almost finished with this. Uh, I'm sorry, we are finished with this. Yeah, I like this mouse cursor better than the, the plague cloud. The plague cloud was kind of annoying. Quillbore sticker. <laughs> Let's go over here and help uh, Zen Zentaji. washed away. How you doing, man? Unbidden visitors. Don't worry, Zintaji uh, not know any trouble. Uh, not in any trouble. He just been studying what happens when river overflows. You see the big tall birds that stand on the riverbank? Zentaji thinks they're in trouble. The earthquake and the flood push the plane striders over to this side of the water, but they can't fly back. Now they're too scared, and they're too scared to swim. They'll die if they stay here. Zentaji doesn't like violence, but maybe you can attack them and scare them over to the other side, yes? See you later. Let's see what we can do. Scare some birds. Oh, there's one. Yeah. 
Well, I didn't exactly want to kill it. There we go. Yeah, we'll just melee it. I'm not going to hit it. I don't want to kill it. No, oh, that'll do it. <laughs> Must have to get below a certain amount of health. And he's dead. <laughs> Whoops. There's another one. Let him go. There, there's that finished. Scream Slash. Quest for that guy. No uh, scorpions could shoot venom. Venom. Raptor. Sorry, I'm just killing these guys to work on my skinning. And you get about, you know, a little less than a quarter of a bar for each kill. Relax. Alright. Later. That's the end of that raptor. The many creatures died when the water came rushing into the valley. The raptors, however, thrived. They're clever predators and have been living off the misfortune of other creatures. One of the raptors is particularly cruel. He is killing the little animals and letting them rot in the water without even eating them. He goes by the name of Scream Slash, and if we're not careful, he'll seriously disrupt the balance of nature. Travel north, slay him, and give his body back to nature. Be seeing you. And we just saw him, so we can do that. I can do this while riding. That's funny. You did, Monsieur Raptor. You want. Doggy, doggy. All right, there's that finished. Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, back to Razor Hill, I guess. Got a talent point. Let's do... Black Arcade reduces the cost of your next incinerate cast bolt by 30%. 
Mayhem, your single target spells have a 25% to chance to play Havoc. Havoc, it marks a target with Havoc for five spells slots, and single target spells also strike the Havoc victim for 60%. Marks a target with Havoc, causing your single target spells to also to also strike the target. So it's like an AoE effect. Let's do backdraft. Oh yeah, it's the guy, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the guy up here in the tower we need to talk to. Rotar, strength. All right, there's that quest finished. Alright, let's see, we have this, we have three more questing hubs here, and then we also have the um, starting zone, which I don't know if I'll do the starting zone or not. Raptor. Harpies. Jeez. Incinerate can flag a rate is just insane. Do love the uh, animation there. I tell you what, I, I so I hopped on my maze last night, my undead maze to start the undead heritage quest line uh, for the for the heritage armor. Man, they have changed and overhauled the um, the look and feel of all the spells, the cooldowns, the uh, just the animations. Wow, I mean, they have overhauled maze tremendously since the last time I played maze. And it hasn't even been that long ago. I just feel like maybe the last couple updates, they have really overhauled it. And it feels amazing. It looks amazing. I was doing Time um, is money, Arcane. Keep it real. Winds in the desert. I'm Reslak, one of Gazlo's boys. Boss sent me to help the orcs here in Durotar. Things have been going good, except for the caravans. 
I, I can't manage to keep them safe. Man, it makes my job a little harder, you know? The last shipment which they promised to get through was snatched by the Duskwind Harpies. Where was it? Razorwind Canyon? I got... Got to get the, I gotta have those supplies. Follow the big canyon to the south. You'll find the ravine cut to the west and east sides of the walls. Be good. Have a good one. Securing the lines. Gazel once told me, Reslak, there's one thing you need to know in life, and that is, if you wanted something done well, do it yourself. I can't deal with losing all of our caravans, so I'm just going to take matters into my own hands. Harpy, harpies plague our supply routes. If we kill the harpies, the caravans are safe. Of course, there's one other thing you can't that Gazel taught me, and that's, <clears throat> you can't get anything done for a price. You ain't got Sanzo? Good. I recommend starting the canyon to the east. Be good. All right, back to the harpies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, I don't know if I can get to it from here. I think I can. Well, maybe not. I'll go around. Just to make sure. But yeah, Maze feels really good right now. And I really want to level a, um, another Mage in, in, like, I want to level, like, a Worgen Mage uh, in both Cataclysm and Dragonflight retail. Um, so I may do a Fire Mage next. It's kind of what I'm leaning toward. It's been a while since I've done Fire. I guess I should have picked up mining instead of skinning. It doesn't look like if I skin something, it gives me XP. It just levels my skinning, but we can sell the skins. two more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Frog in my throat this morning. I guess I could have come in this way. We need one more sack of supplies. I missed that somewhere. Make it pop over to the other side over here. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see if there's any supplies over here. There's one. I don't know why I keep up on inventory. It's it's just such a habit for me. Scratch Fever. The lion's name is Scratch Fever. <clears throat> Yo! 
Keep it real. There's your supplies. There's one. your harpies. Thanks. Moving on. Um, over here to sent for help. Oh, we also have one up here. What's this? The Draenor Shar blockade. Guess I could sell some stuff really quick. Sir. Go for Thunder down under. Victory. Our water needs our, our army needs water, and luckily the elements give us plenty of that when we when the cataclysm hit. The water that filled up the canyon to the southwest should do the trick. Unfortunately, the corpse of the thunder lizards still sit at the bottom of the canyon, and their electrical discharges are a bit too dangerous. I've got grunts that can lift them out of the water, but we need someone agile enough to attach the other end of the rope. Are you my man, Zonzo? Go with honor. You're the one who handled the burning blade to the south? I've got I've got ears in all kinds of places, boy. The world travels fast. And word travels fast. Fizzled. One of the flood to the southwest wiped out one of the few burning blade camps that still pockmarked Durator. One, this this one led to a this one was led by a goblin named Fizzle Darkclaw, and believe me, we're better off without him. Darkclaw, however, did possess an orb that the horde is interested in procuring. Who knows why? I'll leave that to the warlocks. All I know is I need that orb. The wolf and the Kodo. My associate here has plans for you that I don't agree with. His actions are hasty, uncontrolled, and irresponsible, and you may end up paying for them with your life. Before the before you work with Gore, first listen to the tale that I have to tell. It is a moralistic story, a fable, but I believe its lesson will prove valuable. Speak to me when you are ready. Strength! Tell me the fable. Victory! The wolf was very hungry, so he ran to east to look for some food. Dash. The wolf ran and land looking for an easy meal. I don't remember this quest at all. Clever as the wolves, wolves decided to wait for one to defeat the other. When the weaker Kodo died, the wolf approached it and tried to eat it. The weaker the Kodo, when the weaker Kodo died, the wolf. Oh, I'm sorry, I just read that. The remaining Kodo, Kodo angry at the wolf's prejudice, swiftly killed the wolf before he had a chance to eat. Ah, oh, poor wolf. Strength and honor. The moral of the story, hasty, lazy actions have ruinous results. We mustn't take shortcuts. We must work for our rewards, and I've been trying to tell this story to the Enforcer, but I hear that his Hellscream worshipping skull may is a little bit too thick. Bravo. A Hellscream worshipping skull, that's funny. Uh, let's put another one in the film arm. What do you need? Ignoring Go the warnings. Ignore the victory. shaman, soldier. Certain powers that be within the horde uh, demand that I keep him with me. But assure you, a thrall-loving farseer truly sees no farther than the borders of this hut. Elemental wars against one another to the west of here. Elementals war against one another to the west of here. I normally wouldn't mind, but I need that land clear to secure a more to, broader shipping route to and from the barons. The elementals are normally quite strong, but they are weakened by their attacks against one another. Use this knowledge to destroy them. Strength. All right, let's go. Yeah, it's just so weird because I remember leveling through this content, but I, I, well, I know I did it because I leveled a troll druid um, through like Cataclysm content all the way up through, I think it was Draenor or maybe Mists at that time. I just don't remember any of this. Any of, any of the changes, I'll take it that way. I'll say it that way. I 
because I remember a lot of the old quests from, uh, you know, classic, because we've done them so many times. That finish fizzle orb and the drowned uh, kodos. Get to the south here. I remember seeing those drowned kodos earlier. Scorpion. Unless you want to take a swim, I suggest you stay there. Oh, he cast water breathing on me. I was like, do I have automatically have that as a as a warlock? Almost said shaman, but that doesn't sound right. You know, one area that I would really like to do again is Vajir, and I haven't done that zone in a long time. But I really enjoyed swimming. Gets old, but it's fun because it's like flying constantly, and you don't even have to you don't even have to mount up. I mean, there is a there is a seahorse mount, which is cool. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Said, get away! This is too scary. Uh, but yeah, Vajir is a cool zone. I, I love how you could, you know, it was all underwater. You could swim. It, it was really neat. Just, it was like the first non-land zone they ever did. It's just different. And I think they attempted it and people didn't like it. I don't know why. I, maybe they just didn't like swimming. I, I don't know, but I liked it. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't mind it to go do it again. Maybe we'll do it in Cataclysm Classic. You know, we'll level level a uh, uh, maybe take our pal in there or something, or Warlock or Shaman if we get them up. And it's if they do Cataclysm Classic, I really think they're going to. I think I see it coming, and I think the next expansion for retail is going to do a overhaul. Go to revamp the uh, revamp Azeroth again and give us more zones as well as. Um, so I saw something yesterday that was really interesting to me. So it talked about how there's nine expansions so far. And they're talking about how each one is like related to the uh, to a, a previous expansion. So like, for example, Burning Crusade and Legion were kind of the same expansion or had the same themes, same uh, you know enemies, those type things. Then you look at Wrath of the Lich King and Shadowlands. It all has to do with the undead. It has to do with the Lich King and how those two are connected. Then you look at Cataclysm. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, you look at Cataclysm and you look at Dragonfly. It's all dragons. It has to do with dragon aspects and Deathwing and whatnot. Now, next is Mist of Pandaria. So if our next expansion has anything to do with like Mist of Pandaria or adding more zones, you know, to the south down here around Pandaria or maybe around, they're saying like this is the equator is like right along here where the rainforest and things are. That makes total sense. I never really even thought about it. But if they keep following this pattern that they're that they're going for, that makes a lot of sense. Now BFA is kind of a outlier. Blood and thunder. And Warlords is a little bit of an outlier, but it is kind of interesting. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're not to those expansions yet, so that doesn't make any sense. We're not to those expansions. So we're only up to uh, Cataclysm now with, with Dragonfly. We'll see where Mist takes us next. Hopefully it's a similar expansion. That would be interesting. For the whole I just hope they add player housing. That's what I really want. Strength. All right, Margaz, one of our more useful shaman, Margaz, knows more of the Burning Blade's corruption. He speaks of a cave called Skull Rock in the mountains, just outside Orgamar, that shelters a large band of Burning Blade cultists. Before you go to Skull Rock, speak with Margaz. He is wise and his counsel is valued. He is camped to the southeast between the coast and Dry Gulch Ravine. Follow his advice, but wherever Margaz says, Zanzo, I want you to crush those cultists. Go with honor. Beyond Duratar, hmm, looks like your services are requested elsewhere. Agtor Bloodfist is looking for recruits to assist the Horde's ventures in Nashara, north of Orgamar. I'm sure you still have work to do here in Duratar, and I understand that they'll be shortly asking you to help in the Barrens. I wouldn't be going anywhere yet if I were you. I'd be itching for a manifest for some Manifest Destiny, Ashara awaits. If you were looking for Manifest Destiny. So yeah, if the next expansion is anything like Mist of Pandaria, I'm going to be extremely happy because I loved Mist. It's probably my favorite expansion. Um, yeah, we'll pop that on. Nah, I like the Fell Soul. Uh, do, 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 do. Where was it going? Oh yeah, the the next thing I'd like to do, like to see, is player housing. I really hope they have player housing to the game because. It gives people something to strive for. You can move it forward with the retail expansions. You could do Warcraft 2, which would be awesome. Love to see that as well. Um, you know, we'll see. World of Warcraft 2, I don't know. Lots to think about. And I really don't hate on retail. I really don't. I'm just enjoying the game for what it is, and... You move on from there. You know, it's definitely different than classic. It's not vanilla. It never will be vanilla again. I don't I don't see that coming. But um, I think most of all, the, you know, the stories are decent. I need to play through the most most current uh, content on my Paladin. Um, I also never did kill uh, the last... I never did finish the last raid, which I need to go do that as well. But um, overall, it's, it's still good. And I, I, I like retail for what it is. Margaz, welcome, Zanzo. We shall depart for the Dragon Isles shortly. Word reached me of your coming and your exploits in Durotar. You are a warlock of growing skill and renown. Stay on the pure path, and your future will be great indeed. Be safe. Skull Rock, Zanzo. The Burning Blade has infested the cave to the east of Orgrimmar, known as Skull Rock. Inside that cave, they perform vile rituals and burn their own flesh with searing collars. By wearing these collars, I believe the cultists attune themselves to demonic powers. But to confirm this, I must have a collection of the collars to study. Go to Skull Rock and gather searing collars from the cultists you find there. Bring them to me and I will uncover their secrets. Go forth to victory. Speak, friend. Vecneg. Vecmag. Sent for help. You troll, stop a minute. My boss, Spike Tooth, sent me to look for help and supplies. You don't appear to be a merchant, but you could probably help me, probably still help him out. Just to the southeast of here, next to a crashed cart. Oh, tell me that I sent you. Tell him that I sent you. I just want to make sure that he knows I'm not slacking off over here. Me your blades it looks like you're slacking off. You're just pacing back and forth. Alright, Skull Rock's up here. And then I don't know what this quest is. That's a hyena. I mean, a uh, knoll. Zuck, zuck. Backnack sent you without telling you that the wagon, telling you that I needed wagon wheels, nails, and rations. That idiot. Pour the horde. Farewell. Gislania. 
I own a couple of gladiators I would put up comp that I put into competitions around Kalimdor. You can see most of them chained up around here, and we're lucky to rein these ones in after the cart broke down. Gashina, the Naga over there, she's lost her last three flight fights and she could use a tune-up, or maybe just a little bit of thrashing. Go challenge her. I bet you're even stronger than she is. Are the hard strength Griswold Henston Henniston. Griswold, chained up over there in the cliffs, is my newest gladiator. Uh, we found him just south of here, sniffing around the Northwatch soldiers. I had my men nab him up. Now he works for me. He looks tough enough, but he hasn't seen a real he hasn't seen really he hasn't really been battle tested yet. Go pick a fight with him and see if he's worth keeping around. Victory! Abu. Gor Iceworm. I would normally keep a Tonka as a captive due to their close relationship with the Horde, but this one is a traitor and a criminal to boot. Exiled by his own tribe, he canoed down to the down to Ashara and found and was found stealing supplies from Valamark. He would have been put up by the put to the axe if I had not been standing by, wallet in hand. Gar is my winningest gladiator, Warlock. I bet you'll find a fistful of silver if you can beat him. Farewell! I'll give you a fistful of silver if you can beat him. What can I do for you? Ain't you a chipper looking one? Oh, he's a war he's a warden. I thought he was a knoll. I love the warden. They're, they're just they're so awesome. Level 17. Wow, we're leveling quick. Uh, Roaring Blaze. Conflagrate inc inc increases your immolate, incinerate, and conflagrate damage to the target by 25% for 8 seconds. Conflagrate gains an additional charge. Oh, sweet. I'm going to do that. Well. No, I think I'll do Roaring Blaze. I don't know. For leveling purposes, I may go to the other one because I can just quickly blast them for, th you know that much damage yeah let's let's change it to this because I can kill anything in like two or three hits so it's not a not a big deal all right back up to skull rock after I collect these herbs. Is this the entrance to Skull Rock right here? Well, wow, it is. Why in the world is this... <laughs> why is it right next to the harbor? Why don't they just wipe these guys out? That is so weird. Oh yeah, that's three. I like three charges on that. That's nice. Adventurers! We shall depart for the Dragon Isles shortly.
It's a rare, and he's dead. Literally one hit, he's dead. Oh, I transformed. Why did I transform? Fell and fused. Regenerate 5%. Oh, sweet. So that's what fell and fused is. Critic I can chance to critically hit to increase by 5%, by 25%. That is really cool. I didn't realize I actually transformed. And it lasts a minute. No, I don't think that's what that was. That feels weird. Something feels weird there. I don't know what that was, but that was pretty cool. I feel like a demon hunter. Which, by the way, I need to level my demon hunters. I love those, those guys. And I have not played them at all this expansion yet. Fireblade. The Syrian colors you brought me are more powerful demonic in implements. Uh, are powerful demonic implements. Divining their origin, I'm afraid, is beyond my skills as a shaman. We need a warlock to study them. Oh, hey, I'm a warlock. Why can't I do it? Take a Syrian collar to Arnok Fireblade. Although he's a skilled warlock, his, he professes to use his powers to thwart demons and claims his research in the cult is benign. That being true or false, uh, be that true or false, we may need his his aid against the demonic cult in Duratar. You may find Aranok and Orgrimmar in the Cleft of Shadow. Strength. All right, two Orgrimmar. And I think after we find them, we'll call it an episode there. That one's better than what I have on. Yeah, I really like um, I really like Demon Hunters, and I have not played in this expansion at all. In BFA, I played. Uh, a demon hunter on the horde side exclusively. That's basically the only... I just... I don't know why. I just... It's... I played that class once and it stuck with me and I loved it. Um, I played that in my paladin. So... Just kind of rolled with it. Waffle. I also need to take some time to work on the um, trading post for this month. I have not done any of that yet. Well, I've done a little bit, but not, not a ton. I think I still think that's so funny. Hello, boy. Oh, blood and thunder. 
victory. Ah, where did you get this? Good Margot sent you, did he? Well, let me take a closer look. Farewell. Ak Zeloth. Since the last great war when the Burning Legion was defeated, I have searched for sources of demonic corruption in Orc society. The color you brought me confirms my fears. It belongs to the Burning Blade. Your, Zol, uh, your, your role in this tale is nearly complete, Zonzo. To the far, go to Far Watch Post on the border of the Barrens to the west and speak to my assistant Ak Zeloth. Sp pass on to him this information. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's in the Northern Barrens. Okay, so it's it's a it's the red crumb to the Barrens. Okay. Um, one more thing I want to do here really quick, guys, is I want to hit up the barber shop and I want to change the appearance of my Void Walker. I have some of them unlocked. I don't have them all unlocked, but I have some of the uh, appearances unlocked for a warlock. Or for the pets. Um, for the imp, let's do... Let's see, I don't have the fell imp. Actually, I actually don't have anything unlocked for him. I may not be able to do anything yet. Yeah. I kind of like the void... The I kind of like the void seeker. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I want that one. Succubus. Yeah, I'll stick with, stick with that guy. Fell Hunter. I don't have him yet. Don't fell, fell Guard. I like the orange one, that guy. Infernal. I have the Abyssal, which is awesome, by the way. I also like this orange one. That's pretty freaking cool. And the Fell one. I'm going to use the Fell one, I think, on this character because I'm doing Fell Fire. Yeah, I'll stick with the orange on that one. Okay. Let's go with that. Yeah, he looks cool. All right, guys, we're going to call it an episode here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of our Troll Warlock, and I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. I'll come back next time, uh, and I think tomorrow, let's see, we're back on, what are we on tomorrow? One of the hardcore characters, maybe the, let's see, we just played the Rogue, so I guess we're back on the Warrior next. So, um, the Warrior Paladin. I'll have to go look. Anyways, come back tomorrow for more action, more World of Warcraft, and until we meet again, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you next time.